Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on uh, unfair difficulty. I Time for us to get to the mansion. And I have given it a bit of thought. I think we need to maybe adjust a few characters. I generally like our party, but I think two people in particular could be better. I think uh, besides our own character, which is a bit of a hodgepodge, um, need to rethink uh, how I want to build him. Uh, I think Heinrich uh, also could benefit from a little bit more reskilling, uh, Cassia potentially as well. So might uh, just like uh, the, the sister, it might be a case Tell of us actually needing to reskill. Just so that we are a little bit more efficient in combat. Right, your lordship, accept my abject apologies for the stunt that spoiled the reception. can stop apologizing I'm not offended thank you your lordship believe me I'm infinitely sorry that uh, the troubles of Janus have reached us here companion staring, uh, staring next to Vestasia respectfully bows her head um, one of your wardens has helped us in battle a superb shot who was uh, they um, you must be referring to Irlet our chief uh, ally in the struggle against the re rebels I've turned a blind eye on her horrific mutations given the undoubtful advantage she brings you see Urlik comes from a local degenerate stock of this world known as the Janus um, she provided several um, leads to where we can find secret storehouses uh, if you want to speak, you find her outside in the orangery, most likely in the gazebo. She prefers to keep a distance to the others. What is happening on the planet? Several months ago, an uprising broke to Janus, was not even notified as first crippling worms and wardens. Alas, only learned from what is happening uh, after the miscredents begin targeting noble families and then became apparent that the administratum's account had referred to as an unrest. They've already brought uh, 13 agri complexes to a halt and have now moved to assassination attempts. Um, all right, can we supply um, uh, the station? Yes and no, your lordship. The question is, can such an expensive and fertile world uh, feed a few thousand void reds? Of course we can Lose more provisions to gnarling pests, but uh, can we ship? Set provisions to food for not a chance. Any cargo shuttle that leaves the surface will be targeted for attacks. The rebels do not hesitate. I risk angering you, Lordship, but there is nothing compared to shamelessly deceiving you. Let us consider the situation dispassionately. Uh, even the most talented logistic experts of the Administratium are unable to guarantee stable thighs. Uh, when the shuttles are wary and landing in the space uh, uh, a spaceport. Under the usual order of things is restored on Yana's uh, trade is nigh impossible. Um, you want me to go off and catch some rebels? Not quite, your lordship. My wardens are crushing the lowly saboteurs. Uh, but um, it will f be for naught unless the nest is destroyed. Someone is controlling the riffraff. Uh, who is perishing uh, you have resources and capabilities at your disposal the likes of which I could never hope to possess, uh, uh, possess. alright we'll help you the resolve and veil of, of uh, the Valencia's dynasty knows no bounds I'm immeasurably thankful for your help if any of those who attacked the estate had survived then perhaps they could have given valuable source of information incidentally did overhear the wardens taking some kind of stranger in the area besides that we still do not know um, who let those uh, reprobates into the estate the person who did it might also know something I as well as my retinue are at your service my secretary is checking the staff as we speak moving all traces from the attack of the estate 
Um, as an, team, an esteemed Margus who's responsible for the agronomic efforts of the planet. So also here he has been having to visit the delivery personally. And of course there are my eight against uh, the war rebels earlit. This person standing next to you that is Amelia perform secretarial duties. All right. Tell me about Janos. Janus is a remarkable world, both in terms of vast potential and in terms of the work that has been carried out to transform it. What do you grow on Janus? Mainly um, helical flint corn and red uh, triumph, apart from uh, that in the southern he hemisphere. Um, we have Grox population. And of course, I cannot fail to mention the several thousand acres of tilted land given to cultivating fermentable fruit. Um, Powers unseen uncover my path. Let's seize the opportunity. All right, is there nowhere we can go? Intriguing. All right, all of the doors are firmly, firmly closed for us. Good, since I assume I cannot trade with myself, so that's not going to happen. The world trembles beneath my feet. Okay, interesting. So, as always, there is a rebellion, which seems to be normal in a destabilized environment like this, when we're shut off from the warp. For a deck officer, your physical fitness is impressive, Master Versarian. I take it your position as Seneschal is extremely demanding. Young man, Rosette or no, stop lavishing these condescending compliments on me. If I were your age, you would be no match for me. All right, we got to find out what is happening. Okay. Uh Cool. Powers unseen, uncover my Let's heart. find Iridus, uh, Irilit, Irliet. Iliet Lenevis greets you, Elantark. Regrettable news. This creature is not a mutant, as the locals assumed, but a representative of the Eldari, one of the myriad enemies of humanity. You should not trust this creature. Do there is no need to mutilate my language, Monkey. <laughs> I speak yours well enough to converse with Elantark without a translator. And since you have discerned my path, I will be direct in my speech. My soul is nothing kin to yours. Your kind call us Sinos, as if we are all as one. I came here to protect the Lilithon by assisting the governor against her enemies. Will you hear me? Or be blinded to sense by your precepts. Mm, I will speak to you, but keep your hands where I can see them. Must I remind you, Master Van Kalox, that the warrant endows rogue traders with the sacred right to have dealings with Xenos when necessary? That exceptional memory of yours seems to have let you down. I have banished the shadow of doubt from your thoughts regarding my nature. Now you will answer my question. Why have you sought me out? 
Why are helping the governor? In distress. I wish to protect it from unnecessary suffering. All right. Do you know who's behind the uprising? There is a malevolence here that drives your kin down the path of violence. What do you know about the rank and file rebels? Only that they threaten the established order. There is much risk to this world should the ruler die. Yulit's face is unreadable, but you detect a strange tension in her voice, as though she's choosing her words carefully. I spoke to the Magos in charge of operation. He says something gone wrong with that world. Spontaneous demonstrations, animal attacks. Uh, do you have to say anything the about that? Is expressing her wrath. For centuries, this world has resisted the brutality inflicted upon it by soulless machines and unmindful creatures. But what the machine man told you, that is something else. Something more frightening. The planet is fighting an evil that has taken root in its very cradle. I am Ellen Tark. My hand parried the death promised to the ruler of these people, and I aided you in battle against the lost ones. That's true. Why do you call me Ellen Tark? Because that is what you are. Ellen Tark means stranger from the darkness amidst the stars. You descended on flame winged machines. In a dark time, when the air of the planet is soaked in blood and pain. How did you come to Janus? The world you call Janus was once created by the will of my kin. I have far more right to be on the Lilithon than any of you. The answers are not really helpful. You are asking for help, Ellen Tark. You are merely asking questions, the answers to which are either unimportant or wreathed in shadow. Explore this place. Speak to those who know. All right. If you want, you can join me. One of the locals Simple will dare to uh, ask an at at a rogue trader's presence. So be it. With all due respect, are you sure this is the right decision? Nice. We got it. Now, Derry. My second party, the, the heretics. Conference. As far as I can it's tell, getting there. She isn't especially keen to help us. And yet, for some obviously dark reason, she has decided to take part in our investigation. My judgments and choices are for me alone, Monkey. If uniting with your master will bring peace to the Lilithon, then it is the true path. You have not yet spent enough time among humans if you think threats will dispose me more favorably toward you. The decision is yours, Roach. I am ready, Ellen Tark. Erlik is a Xenos. She's a ranger who follows the path of the outcast. Her skills in ranged combat are without equal, does not uh, use human weapons, and can wear Aldari armor or Durukari armor. Unique ability uh, instantly ends her turn. However, at the start of her next turn, she will make an attack that always hits the target. Nice. Uh, for now, I guess she replaces the wet towel uh, Heinrichs seems to be a bad or mean Embrace spirited individual intriguing All right, let's return to the void ship. I need to do some reskilling, and then we'll see which part landing party we're going to take. All right, we're back. So the respecking is done, and it got a little bit out of hand, I must admit. So here's the train of thought, and I'll just give you really the brief uh, rundown version. I first of all started to respec uh, uh, Cassia, right? So my concern with her was that basically the um, master technician on her was a little bit wasted because she wasn't really using it a lot. And I also picked a couple of talents that I 
didn't feel were uh, the worthwhile, uh, most worthwhile investment. So what I wanted to do when respecting her is minimize the officer uh, part because she's already doing that relatively well and then really focusing on her navigator talents. And in a sense, um, what we have done, and I'll really just quickly go uh, through it, is I focused her uh, more on navigator uh, talents um, and changed the navigator talents around a little bit. So I got uh, rid of uh, the reveal the light. Uh, it's a good buff, but I wanted to test a couple of other ones. And one of the biggest problems that I am facing is we're not having any crowd control as in force placements of the enemies. So they are oftentimes behind cover. Uh, and the only thing that we had was a uh, dominate person, uh, which really was a very delayed way of getting people out of cover or clustering them up. So for me, it was clear that I wanted to have that point of curiosity. So uh, and uh, since the prerequisite of it is either notch of purpose, which is sort of the small brother of uh, point of curiosity um, or zone of fear, <coughs> I opted for zone of fear, which now kind of frees up an entire zone and lets enem enemies move. So she has that now. Then I went into point of curiosity. And then the third one that I've chosen is walking nightmare because it gives a massive toughness and willpower penalty, therefore enabling better chances for uh, will saves not to be resisted, but also effectively dealing hit point damage. And to my understanding, none of these threes counts as an attack, so I can just repeatedly cast them. So that that's essentially what I did with her. Um, put also uh, a bit more into mastery of time so that over uh, the period of time she's getting more and more willpower, which I think um, is fine. And I added um, the Perilius uh, ways that whenever enemies are moving and I have now two move talents, they are also getting damage. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, really very similar uh, talents, but more of uh, more of the same. The only other talent that I've taken is CC Initiative because Initiative is a very important point in this game and we're oftentimes getting shafted, uh, ambushed and then we're completely caught out of uh, out of cover. Mm. I don't like that and CC Initiative gives us the option to move her into cover then use her officer ability to basically give someone else a turn as well. So it, uh, it, it seems quite good. Then with regards to the other archetype, I this time took Grand Strategist uh, because Grand Strategist also has will act first in combat. The way that I'm reading this is not only will she get an extra turn, but then she will act first again. So we're massively uh, moving our initiative forward. Um, and that for me, uh, as well as the ability to move the lines, backline, frontline and rear, because all of uh, them are changing quite often in, the, in, in my combats, uh, having kind of a second grand strategist seems much, much better. Um, so yeah, that that's uh, really it. I uh, I started essentially to give up the um, uh, the um, master technician, uh, which then brought me to you know what uh, Saiken is working, but there are a couple of however. So I think what I didn't like with him is his sniper is working very well, but it seems to be working even with very minimal investment. Snipers seem to be just OP uh, as they as they come as base weapons. Now my problem with him with a soldier was um, I was thinking too limited in in my thought process I thought you know what he's a damage dealer and you have maybe one main damage dealer therefore you're taking kind of the soldier so that you can have two turns problem is uh, the run gun uh, uh, feature is giving you a, a debuff and you really need to kill a lot of um, enemies in order to get those uh, turns so instead i thought you know what why wouldn't we pick officer because currently no one has officer talents we do have an officer with um with cassia and um, is essentially we, we don't have the officer talent so saiken could be that officer granted officer in itself is a seems to be a good class and we already have a soldier um with um, argenta and she she 
also stays in that for her. The arch militant thing works very well because she has burst weapons and normal weapons. The problem that I ran into um, Saiken's build was he also had kind of the pyromancer staff and the, the normal single target shots, but uh, for him it seemed to be way more difficult to position himself uh, and then do both of it at the, uh, at the same time. Uh, having one uh, character with kind of um, an area where they can burst seems easy. Having more than one character uh, seems to be a little bit more difficult. So that's a, that's essentially uh, what I've taken uh, from it. So I needed to change his base class uh, to be fully transparent. Uh, that is not possible in the normal game. So I installed a mod, uh, just changed the base class and that's about it. The, the mod is called Toybox for anyone who's interested in that. Uh, can do a lot of more things, but I just wanted to basically change the initial archetype. Um, and we are now gone uh, with um, the officer uh, archetype. And um, what I then uh, figured out is, you know what? I mean, uh, a lot of the nukes uh, that I thought uh, I wanted to do are coming from staves. So um, it, it's really just a matter of skilling like one, uh, one uh, skill into either sanctified or uh, skilling one skill into pyromancer either way is fine because both of the staffs are nuking um, I uh, mm, Decided that I will go with uh, sanctified on him because uh, this staff here was just in one of the vendors and it has a better AOEs like uh, a cluster of nine seems more legit to me than uh, uh, than uh, uh, just a, a line essentially I, I might um, regret that a little bit later but we can always um, adjust it a little bit uh, more so that was the thought process be uh, behind him which then led me to uh, get him into officer key features here I went for the sanctic uh, powers uh, that uh, gives us an, a nice uh, extra uh, feature where essentially where uh, we can skill into psalm of uh, heroes and that looks cool because uh, Psy rating is very, very limited, uh, but uh, with Psalm of Heroes, um, it says whenever someone does a heroic act, then you get plus one Psy rating. So that will massively increase our Psy rating. Um, so that in itself was worth it. And um, for the officer talents, um, I went for Air of Authority because that gives us uh, more action points and more resolve. And really what I learned uh, by thinking that through is that momentum uh, is important and the only way of getting that is more resolve. So some of the talents that I picked are really more around uh, kind of that whole resolve uh, uh, thing, for instance, Steely Resolve. Um, for just more initial uh, resolve. I also use CC initiatives so that we're uh, kind of uh, getting extra initiatives. I stuck with calculated relationships because he, he's, I, I like the idea that you do have a skill monkey and uh, that, yeah, that plus uh, the, um, uh, the ability to level intelligence up is fine by me. So that seems very, very uh, good. Um, and other than that, uh, what we have uh, skilled uh, on him uh, are a couple of kind of these momentum uh, based uh, talents as uh, um, Psalm of Heroes. We talked about that already and I got still mine, which basically allows you that whenever the veil is low, uh, you get more resolve. So that's again uh, more heroics and psychic barrage uh, for a little bit more damage. So. That's the idea of that archetype and then I thought you know what master technician is up for grabs and press the advantage really was a cool extra damage ability but it never really fitted onto uh, onto Cassia's uh, trade but here it seems to be very very uh, well fitting so we now have the option with Saiken to use a master uh, technician for more damage. I also got, gave him shield of the emperor. So we're now having a second character that can give defensive buffs, uh, allows us to be a bit more redundant uh, in case one of the characters goes down. So that's really it. Um, a few more hit points on top of uh, that. So those were reskilled. And then, you know, in my natural habit of, uh, of reviewing who else was underperforming, my eye fell on Heinrichs. And the problem with Heinrichs mainly uh, has been that I did not uh, appreciate what he was uh, doing. In a nutshell, he had a bit of biomancy. His healing was ass. Let's 
put it bluntly, it was not good at all. Um, and uh, he, um, his uh, assassin role wasn't really uh, going well as well. So I thought, mm, am I rather building him tanky or am I building him into more DPS? And then I really thought about group compositions. And that's something that I want to kind of highlight slash encourage uh, you to do as well. Because group compositions are very important when you're playing uh, TTRPGs. Uh, it basically uh, it basically just determines how um, how well uh, your how well rounded your uh, group is and in my humble opinion um, our uh, group uh, already had two damage dealers with um, Argenta and Saiken uh, one magic one physical uh, Cassia de facto is also kind of a damage uh, dealer and also uh, Pascal can deal quite a bit of damage. I'm super happy with his build, uh, by the way. Um, so we have a lot of range damage dealers, which then means like, what do we really want to uh, get out of Heinrichs? If we could get healing, that would be absolutely fine. But at the moment, uh, unless we get better, uh, better uh, Psy rating, uh, the healing is not good. I mean, look at uh, the Invigorate uh, and Invigorate has two times Psy rating plus the will point bonus and that's it. So unless you do have Psycho rating 10 uh, where you're starting to heal for 20 plus willpower, you're not even healing as much as uh, as a normal uh, as a normal med kit. Granted, yes, regeneration, uh, totally cool, uh, because uh, that is a continuous kind of uh, healing. So once you get into that point, it's great. But I feel I can always do that without needing to go for Invigorate. I then rather go for Enfeeble, uh, which allows us to deal more damage, and then we're going to uh, regenerate. So um, we still have uh, the uh, Biomancy on him. And we're still going for enfeeble and regenerate, but it'll take a little, uh, a little bit uh, more time. The prerequisites here, um, yeah, we, we, we need to look into that. So, long-winded way of saying, I uh, went uh, with a tanky-ish build uh, for him, and he's not going to be kind of the heavy armor uh, type character. Ergo, we needed to get uh, um, uh, dodge and uh, parry up. So. Some of the talents are very similar to Abelard, but some are different because he's still a Psyker. Um, I uh, built him around agility, then we took thick skin uh, for uh, just overall more deflection, defensive stance for more armor um, if, we're, if we're not attacking, hardened scars uh, for more deflection when we're getting uh, hit, and rigorous trainings for um, uh, whenever we're uh, charging, we're getting 15% dodge, which is cool. That is fantastic. So that in itself is good. Doesn't have the um, the taunting scream, but I don't think that we need it. Maybe, maybe I'll reskill it uh, if uh, necess uh, if necessary. Instead, for the psi abilities, I've uh, gone with uh, Shield of the Emperor because it's good. And we've uh, additionally went into um, the um, the divination uh, sphere because divination base uh, gives you a big whooping um, ability that allows you to increase dodge even further. So the pure divination is helpful. I really really like divination for that um, uh, for that uh, regard. So he can now. Uh, where where is he? He Do can now inquisitorial uh, give himself forewarning for nine percent dodge and parry, um, and not only him. I think it lasts until the end of the combat, right? Uh, also the other tank. So it's a nice uh, defensive feature, and I might uh, go into that uh, dodging zone as well. Shield of the Emperor is good, uh, but maybe I'll drop it in and instead take the forewarning zone or uh, the uh, scream. So still not 100% uh, finished with the build. Anyways, the other uh, stuff that we've taken is a lot of um, a lot of uh, willpower and agility. We got sounds of heroes as well for him. So when heroic acts happen, everything is going uh, uh, to be better for him because psi rating goes up um, and uh, psi rating as well as a couple of base talents really nimble in uh, in this case. 
uh, health, uh, it will not die and nimble, so more hit points, more uh, decks. And then I figured, uh, what do we want to do? I, I still thought about uh, the um, assassin. Uh, because a couple of talents are nice, but he's not dealing yet enough damage. So I then uh, figured, you know, there was a talent uh, that I remember from the Arch Militant uh, part, which is called uh, Cautious Approach. And as long as you do have um, weapon uh, stacks for starters, this uh, the Arch Militant gives you a wonderful bonus uh, to, um, to damage and uh, to hit a percent. So... Per definition, you can kind of neglect your uh, weapon skills a little bit more because uh, the versatility will carry that for you. Um, and uh, you're, the only thing that you're trading in is that uh, five weapon skill for every stack for essentially five dodge and parry, which I think is very neat because all of a sudden this guy becomes like ultra, ultra hard to hit. And uh, that really is it. Um, I will run him a little bit more kind of with that versatility in mind we have the four sword and we do have the precise laser pistol uh, you can get a nice little burst out of here even normal pistol shots uh, can get a couple of strikes out of it and he will really be hard to hit uh, i'm thinking about maybe giving him grenadier as well because it fits uh, this build uh, nicely but overall uh, heinrichs appears to me like the type of character that wants to be a bit more in 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 the front line now also has the hit points to do it and really really solid um, dodge and um, and um, we really no abilities so that's the extent to which i did uh, all of uh, the reskilling i hope you uh, appreciate and understand how things are coming together one uh, little block uh, be, uh, it's like a domino effect one domino uh, put uh, the next thing into motion and from here we're going to start uh, with the new builds let's see if they are any good all right here we go so ready steady super go back uh, to our development we wanted to uh, find out more about what is happening here. Agri World Janus is the source of problems and gather information about the rebels, find leads to track down the rebels. And we're going to do exactly that. Got Artilius Quint uh, over here, who's hopefully going to help us. The stooped man wearing a cloak of the Adeptus Administratum is reviewing information on a dator slate, which he quietly is wearing mechanical arms filled with long scroll uh, with uh, wit uh, writing. Um, upon noticing you, the man stretches his thin lips uh, to a smile and uh, deferentially bows. The light in his eyes. The light in the eyes of the service school hovering over the right shoulder gently pulsates. Your Lordship, what an honor it is to address you in person. Allow me to introduce myself, Etilius Quint, uh, Prefectus of the Officio Agrit Culturae. Um, I will preserve the record of our conversation forever. What do you think uh, of uh, the governor? The governor is a superb leader. She possesses an excellent grasp of all matters. What do you have to say about the governor's help at Irid? To be honest, I find her presence most distressing. Of course, I would never um, gainsay the wisdom of the governor, who, if uh, not she, could perceive the true word of a person. Uh, moreover, Iliad's particular ability could be interesting subject for a study that elongated uh, shape those eyes, judging by the skull uh, that was given to me, uh, sent on footfall. Such developed uh, anomalies on Janus are not a quirk of nature. What skull are you talking about? A most redeemable item, I must say, a true anomaly. One moment. After uh, rummaging in a nearby container, Tilius draws a parcel which he immediately unwraps. Here it is. I believe it's the finished piece. was intended to be given as a gift to the uh, governor, but under the current circumstances, I will doubt uh, I'll be able to send it to uh, Footfall anytime soon. Uh, Pascal says adequately preserved. It's a pity that it's empty inside. It could have been a proper servo school herald for Rogue Trader. Hmm, curiosity like this uh, world looked nice on my desk. Sure, why not? Uh, I mean, of course, yes, undoubtedly, and we receive a strange skull. Perfect. 
What are your duties here? By the grace of the Emperor, I oversee the administrative apparatus. Speaking of the Valencian dynasty, when was the last shipment sent? Uh, shipment was out of order, all foodstuff and the items ready to export. However, given the current circumstances, Janus could not provide even one tranche more than it's already prepared. I'm certain the situation will rectify in the future. All right. What is happening on the planet? Your Lordship, rebellions have caused too many problems in the recent times and rebels are interfering with established process, interrupting supply, sabotaging the work. A few nobles have even been killed and worst of all, some of the victims occupy important administrative posts until their replacement it passes the check, complete all of the introductory forms and go through the official appointment process. Important paperwork is unsigned. Oh, wow. Indeed, that is a problem. Financial reports, logistics, uh, waybills and food without the signature of most of uh, that. Shipments to Aegis 24 have stopped. The air is still dealing with the transfer holdings. Uh, what are you doing to combat the rebels? Our security services are tracking those who, the rebel, uh, who support the rebels and our regular wardens are wiping out the saboteurs with the slight, uh, without the slightest mercy, but uh, they keep on appear, um, appearing. I'm confident the governor will find a solution for now. Who's uh, directing the rebels? The rebels are well trained. That's more... Uh, the governor's advisors are inclined to think uh, the instigation of the rebels are very familiar in the planet's terrain and climate. My uh, ordinates are going through the re registration records day and night. I want to know the details where the rebels stuck and how. Of course, of course, I would be delighted to furnish uh, to furnish you with all of the information I have. Last for a few months, fifteen organized attacks, seven terrorist attacks, etc, etc. I suppose, I suppose, this will not tell you much, but please, with a fluffy gesture, it presents a data slate. All right, that's enough for now. What do you know about the uh, estates on uh, the attack of... Okay, we know a couple of uh, things. Wait for the reset. No, no, that's not it. Gather more information about the rebels. And find and track down the leader. These seized arms and uh, faces are covered with uh, small bolts. A dozen clouds pass even after the death. Intriguing. Uh, I would love to get outside and kick some rear. I tread a path unexplored. Fortunately, can't just get out here. What else can we find? Estate wardens. A couple of nobles up here, servitors. A couple more servants. Powers unseen uncover my path. Perfection. We've already been at the beach, so I do not assume that Embrace we're going to find much power. more there. I found this on the body of the dead rebel. Can you tell me anything about the specimen? Um, your blessing for the examination. Lex Magnetic weighs respectfully. Creeping Q-weed, a typical plant in the Western Hemisphere. I've studied the possibility of industrial cultivation, but the process was found to be inefficient for a, spe uh, for a specific requirement of soil that we found right composition is on, uh, only in the archipelagos of the planet. Perfect, and that's... 
The world trembles beneath my feet. All right, that's likely where they are. The world will bow. Let's seize the opportunity. Okay, here's an old servant. He might have seen something. Old servant, you're too late, Vardstock. The master has his own fate. It's you, your lordship. The god emperor must have brought you here. I beg you, help the rebels to save Janus. Forgive me, your lordship. If I'd only known it was you, my eyes deceived me. We have little time now, I swear I'm telling you everything. Nerve toxin. The inevitable cessation of vital functions is expected in no more than 60 seconds. Say whatever you want to say. In the name of the Golden Throne, your Lordship, show mercy and the humble workers, the salt of Janus, save them. Uh, we stand servit, the untouchable governor and leader of nobility, is creating something monstrous behind closed door. She uses the Imperium's interest as a smokescreen and a purpose for a scholar, but her actions, her actions are poisoning the planet. Uh, did you know that? Uh, did you know uh, that uh, the settlements have failed to pay the uh, duty thighs in times, but have been allowed to pay people instead? Uh, they even deliver them in the order. Sometimes older folks, sometimes children. I've seen those people. I've seen them being delivered to the estate. And they've never heard from them again. They've gone into secret rooms, your lordship. Never ever. Peasants who were taken to Iraq 5 to serve House of Celia were never seen and heard again either. Uh, they became lo loyal servants and toiled for the good and greater of the dynasty. The old servant lets out a moan. The dark strains from his arms to creep through his veins. Uh, the servant's breast quickens and becomes irregular. What secret room? Hidden chambers deep within the palace. I've never been inside, thankfully. Servants who are allowed in, the ones the governor trusts, they change. She changes them, uh, pretty them out, defies them. You accuse the road traders' appointments, governors of heresy. Your words are false, and that's a tantamount of heresy. But if you want to say it's true, if it's true, then the sacrifice, um, then your sacrifice will be to your credit, uh, good man. I swear I'm not lying. Pray for me, holy sister, for me and for Janus. Um, what else is going on in the settlements? I tell, told you everything I told you by the people who contacted me, these tithe. Uh, tithe. Uh, some settlements have already switched uh, to paying people. Uh, they arrange the medicine and supplies for the settlements and security and then completely isolate them and contact between those inside the settlements and the outside world is cut off. One lad managed to get out. Um, he's the one who told me all of this. The people are rotting in their strange gross yellow eyes, stinking like dead bodies, the worst uh, looking ones are rounded up and taken away. The fellow escaped. He seemed fine, but within a couple of days the rebel picked him up. He started uh, seeing monsters instead of people. They had to take him away from the o other folks. Your Lordship, if you permit a dying man to make one last request, don't tell anyone that I... Of course, in typical psych and fashion, someone sometime during the day wants something from you. So anyways, uh, don't tell anyone that I was the one who unlocked the doors. If you do, they'll, they'll go after my family, my home. I'll keep your secret. Please save us. Please save us, Janus. Powers unseen, uncover my path. All right, lots to talk about. The governor is sus. Super sus, and we need to talk to her because uh, that are accusations that I would like to understand a little bit more in detail. And if it is true that she kind of breeds super infected humans uh, in secret chambers, then that is heresy. And heresy is punishable by super death. Not normal death, it is super death. The world trembles beneath my feet. All right. 
I want answers. And I want them now. You neglected to mention the strange changes in the planets, of flora and fauna. Margus Vizlex is a wise man, but his fixation on the evolutionary process seems a little extreme to me. Janus was heavily cultivated, forests were cleared, mountains raised across a half of the planet. It's no surprise that we're still noticing the consequence of that change. Uh, you're forcing settlements to, tie, uh, to uh, pay thighs in human bodies. What? Really, Saiken? You speak as if you believe the claims of those wretched peasants. I do not seek anyone to pay th thighs and human. I'm reducing the burden of the settlements, which have suffered the result of unsuccessful experiments uh, involving enriched food. I'm gathering the worst affected subjects, those who can no longer uh, work, for further studies. Some amongst my cycle call such a concern for the underclass a weakness, a weakness that may have incited a rebellion amongst the M a uh, bolded rebel. Cassia nods an understanding. Theobark of Falloc tried to limit the effect of my powers uh, that they uh, that my powers had on the lowborn servants of Euroch Five. The station's laboratorium ran experiments for those most misfortunate enough of losing their minds because of my gift. These tests increased the servants' lifespans, and uh, they joined Felix side. All right. The tech priest mentioned ancient runes um, belonging to the Xenos. I know to what you're referring. Strange structures of unknown material for the prevention of any unfortunate accidents. I ordered the area to be declared out of bounds for all. Some things are better left off of the thick layer of dirt um, beyond the grasp of uh, the enlightened minds of the Adeptus uh, Mechanicus. She wiggled herself out of this nicely. Intriguing. Let me through here. Dang it, we can't even sneak ourselves Let's into the other areas the of the palace. Hmm. Well, with that new information, we might need to talk to the other uh, two informants and find out what what they are thinking about it. Uh, clearly, Theodora, or what her name was, the governor, isn't willing to compromise. I tread a path unexplored. All right, so, sorry, here, Tilius Quint is the other person we can speak to. Uncover the servant uh, who betrayed the governor. Here, the place where you find his body. All right, got a couple of dogmatic points. Although his family will uh, now I have a problem, but you gotta follow your dogma. The world will bow. Uh, we do have an issue here, guys. I have no idea how to progress uh, this. It says gather information about the rebels. Additional information causes unrest. Janus will help the narrow search for the rebel leader's base and speed up the process of pacifying the local populace. Uh, the berries of a plant grows outside. Have, okay. Okay, well, maybe we can follow the plant trail. Find leads to track down the rebel leader. Governor has suggested starting the search for the rebel base by questioning the servants and other witnesses of the assassination. It might be possible to extract information. Okay, I'll do that. I'll just talk to every single one here.
Good, found someone. Security officer, your lordship, please do not say too close to the building. One of the terrorists from today's attack this hold up himself. He could be dangerous. What's going on in here? Ready to report. We conducted a sweep of the area of the attack. All assassins were arrested and neutralized except of one. He sealed himself in. He is already injured and the wardens were trying to reach him, but there is no worry. We'll poison him and clear the last the dregs out of the estate. Abelard, I have one question, officer. Why have you not already done it? Uh, the rogue trader is here, and the longer the delay, the more you put his life at risk needlessly. Um, it's inexcusable, your lordship. The barrels of poison have only been delivered, but w w we're ready to begin now. I want to talk to the person. Are you sure? It's not safe, your lordship. As you wish. The world trembles Finally. beneath my feet. Pick the lock. Success. There we go, baby. There we go. It, it can't be the rogue trader, says the wounded rebel. Your lordship have mercy. You're the sovereign of this planet. Only you have the power to save us. Youth is a time for recklessness, I heard they said it more than once at the Schola Prognatium during my Novitatia. Um, but young is also the time of directness, let us listen to you young men before we judge him. Alright, save you from what? For the governor, Viat, everybody knows what she's doing, we've put up uh, with it for a long time, hoping that someone would intervene and help us, but nobody ever did. She she's turned the whole world into a slaughterhouse. People around it uh, up like rocks from the settlement, supposedly to go to the palace, and they've never be been seen there again. Servants pour something into the fields, and then the people lose their minds and starting to hear voices. And whilst we are dying, she's sitting behind her white walls, uh, feasting on our bones. I was taught that peasants have a tendency to exaggerate their suffering due to sloth and weakness in spirit, but this young man, vermilion thorns pierce out of every centimeter of his body and the gray shackles behind his hands, feet and neck. There are no lies in his word, only terror of desperation. All right, you're telling me that people see evil spirits? Yes, others are going feral and attacking the loved ones. And uh, then there's people say that there are some settlements well they've stopped upholding the law altogether imperial law and and, and law of the basic human decency people are turning into animals who's behind the rebels your lordship i beg you don't ask me that i can't sell out my brethren it's over for me but the others i i won't uh, p betray them There will be no end on the war of the planet until I get a handle on the situation. Um, as long as you keep your word. Never been in their camp, none of us, have, of us have. Only the chief saw the person from their base. He came for a few times bringing weapons and orders. He said he represented a greater force than we could imagine. And then he said that the governor's dogs will pay for the reprisal of the settlements. Okay. We've all worked out so that anyone's getting caught. The others are getting, getting caught with them. But I uh, swiped the chief's box. I thought I killed the governor. I could use the message coordinates to find the base and hide there. Uh, it's um, all I know, your lordship. Give it up and come with me. I'll give you the word as a rogue trader. You will live as well. I mean... For now, let's do that. Your Lordship, thank you, thank you for this kindness. I've never thought I'd survive it. Your Lordship, honor your bravery. Bravery, please allow me to get rid of this red for you. This man is now under my protection. See to it that he's held uh, safely in custody until his fate is decided by a fair trial. Your Lordship, it will be done. Okay, I like that ending. So far. Insight. 
Nice. What is that? Dysfunctioning device. Uh, grants the wielder 15 bonus to carouse. Okay, well. Might as well use it, because why not? Cool. Well, now we know that there is something strange going on. The surviving rebel claims their leader are hiding far from the populated centuries. Okay, wait, we also got a rebel box. That has a lock of all of the rebel conversation, opportunity. so that might be Look something no for us. A nice little stroll. Powers unseen uncover my path. Maybe I tread a path unexplored. Maybe we can require the help of the tech priest in order to fix that comp. Intriguing. All right. Um Well, we now know where the rebels are. The world will bow. I think we just need to get to the rebels. They have coordinates far outside of the city. So maybe we need to get back to the void ship, but I'm hoping that we can simply move uh, to the location directly. But apparently that's not the case. We can't free travel here. I'll get to the ship and I think we're calling it uh, a day uh, for today. Uh, that's the end of this episode. Not a lot of fighting, but we're going to get uh, more of that um, as time passes and for now. Thank you very much for power. watching. Appreciate uh, that. And let me know what you think of the new builds. Um, uh, oh, well, you haven't really seen that in combat, but still, let me know what you think about rebuilding in general. Take care, have a good one, and uh, goodbye.